Dr. Panda. Hello. Dr. Panda. Toto. Please tell us what will you be doing today. Dr. Panda. Let's go. Dr. Panda. Uh-oh. No task to pick. Come bring your friends and let's play. Fighting fires, fixing tires. You always save the day. All the groceries. Hey, no worries. Dr. Panda's on his way. Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda. Hello. Come on, let's go and have some fun too. Dr. Panda, what are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to be a delivery driver. I have packages to deliver all around the city. Yay! Beep, beep. <laughs> sure, go ahead and press the horn, Toto. <laughs> oh, sounds like the horn is broken. <laughs> That's a funny sound. Okay, first we have to go to the Panda City Racetrack because we have a package for Bip. <laughs> hey, Bip, I've got a package with your name on it. Oh, thanks, Dr. Panda. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Whoa, you're sure in a hurry to see what's inside. Check it out. <gasps> cool. What is it? Oh, this is my new steering wheel. It's going to help me win the Panda City race this afternoon. Awesome. Hey, you got a pretty cool scooter yourself, Dr. P. Why don't you join in the race, too? You race? Oh, I can't. I've got to deliver these packages today. Oh, too bad. It's going to be so awesome. Well, if we finish on time, we'll come and watch. Yay! Race! Great! You can watch me win! See you there, Dr. P! Oh. <laughs> Hi there, Moo! I've got a package for you! Oh, you're just in time, Dr. Panda. For what? To help me hang out my laundry. Oh, I I'm in a bit of a hurry, Moo. I've got lots more packages to deliver. Catch! Oh. Well, I have to go and feed my chickens now. Thanks, Dr. Panda. <sighs> I guess I'd better hang these up quickly, then. Hey there, Bip. How's it going? <sighs> Not good. My new steering wheel has come off, and if I don't get it fixed, my go-kart won't be ready for the Panda City race. Not a problem, Bip. I'll fix this in no time. Oh, thanks. My cart needs to go really fast. Hmm, fast, eh? If you want, I could put in one of my booster buttons. It gives your go-kart a short burst of speed. Wow, thanks, Hoopa. That'd be awesome. I'll come back to pick it up later. Sure thing. The next package is for Hoopa. Race! Oh, I'm not sure we'll make it to the race, Toto. We lost a lot of time helping Moo. All I need is to install the booster button and I'm done. Hi, Hoopa. Hi, Dr. Panda. <laughs> I know why you're here. You want me to fix that horn. <laughs> nope. I came to deliver a package. Oh, thanks. But why did I fix your horn anyway? I've got a new one right here. I just need my screwdriver. Oh, wow. Thanks. Dr. Panda, all done. Wow, that was fast. Thanks, Hoopa. <laughs> Bye, Hoopa. Our last package is for Olette. If we go now, we might just make it in time for the start of the race. Race! Hey, Hoopa, did you fix my go-kart? Yep, it's all ready to go. Oh, cool, thanks. I'm off to win that race. Good luck. Uh, 
Are you looking for Olette? She's already left for the race. Oh, come on, Toto. We'll deliver the package to her there. Huh? I thought the horn was yellow. <laughs> <laughs> How do we slow down? Congratulations, Dr. Panda. You've won the Panda City race. What? I did? Wow! Whoa, Dr. P. That was awesome. How fast were you going? I think you broke a record. <laughs> Ooh, thanks, Bip. But I've got a job to finish. Olette! I got something for you. Oh, thanks, Dr. Panda. But actually, this is for you. Huh? You delivered it right on time. Hooray! <laughs> wow! Thanks, Olette. Uh, rocket! What's that, Toto? You want to fly a rocket next? <laughs> That'll be an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Bye. Dr. Panda. Hello. Dr. Panda. Toto. Please tell us what will you be doing today. Dr. Panda, what are you going to do today? Dr. Panda? Hello? Dr. Dr. Panda. Panda! Where could he be? <laughs> coming! Coming! I'm here! Hi, everyone! Whew. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? <laughs> You're a mailman! That's right! Today, I'm... The first rule of being a mailman is never be late. Oh, hi, Richie. You're right. I'm sorry. My alarm clock is broken, and it didn't wake me up. Why didn't you order a new one? I did. And it was supposed to come in the mail a week ago, but it still hasn't been delivered. Well, okay. Let's get to work. I have all this mail to sort, and you have to make your round. As long as nothing else goes wrong today, we should be a-okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> Uh, a, a bit of help, please? I can't... This is bad. This is really bad. What's the matter? This package has been stuck in the machine, and now it's been labeled with every address. And these packages didn't get labeled at all. So how will we ever know who this mail is for? You have to deliver these packages today! The important thing is not to panic. Too late for that! I'm already panicking! What do we do? Hmm. 
Well, we have all the addresses, so we know who is expecting deliveries. Now we just have to work out which package belongs to whom. Maybe we can open the mail to see if there are any clues inside. No! The second rule of being a mailman is never, ever open the packages yourself. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, hmm. Let's see what we know. It says on here that this package came from Baboon Building Supplies. Aha! So who do we know in Panda City that likes to build things? I think I know who ordered this package. Oh, oh boy. Hi, guys. Hey, Hoopa. Did you order something from Baboon Building Supplies? My bricks. <sighs> Let me help you. Yay! Is it okay if I take this? Sure, no problem. Thanks, Dr. Panda. What a great service. <gasps> Look, Toto! Moo's name is on one of the labels! She must have ordered something! Let's go! <laughs> Moo! Moo who? Are you home? I have this package for you, but I don't know which. <laughs> hey, chickens! Hey, chickens! <laughs> <laughs> they can smell the food I ordered for them. Ah, so that's why they were chasing me. Maybe we can use the chicken's excellent sense of smell to work out which package is yours. <laughs> this must be the one. Corn, their favorite. Great job, guys. Ah, glad to help. Okay, Toto, only three more packages to go. And look, one of these is for Olette. Hello, Dr. Panda. Do you have my package? I'm sure I do, but I don't know which one it is. Something went wrong at the sorting office and some packages weren't labeled correctly. Oh, no. I have to practice for my basketball game, but I can't do that without the ball I ordered. Oh, <laughs> I think I know which one is your package. Oh, this one. N uh. Don't you think the ball is in the round package? Oh, not the square one. No, not the square one. <laughs> my ball! Great! Do you want to stay for a game? Oh, maybe later. We still have two more packages to deliver. One of them is for May May. Hi, Dr. Panda. Oh, what have you got for me? Hi, May May. One of these is yours, but I don't know which one. Do you remember what you ordered? Oh, Dr. Panda, it could be anything. A new dress, a nice warm sweater, a scarf. Whatever's in this package is hard. It feels wooden. This feels much softer. Oh, and all the things you mentioned are soft as well. Yes, you're right. I guess this must be your package then. Oh, wow, my coat. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> it looks great on you. Thanks, Dr. Panda. Well, that just leaves this package, but I can't read the last label. Hmm. Maybe if I carefully peel off the other address label, I can find out who this last package is for. Oh, oh no! I ripped it! <gasps> what will you do? Uh, I guess we'll have to take it back to Richie and tell him the bad news. Dr. Panda, did you manage to deliver all the packages? Uh, all except one. I accidentally ripped the last label. What? That means we'll never have it delivered on time. <gasps> Tick-tock. 
What is it, Toto? Tick tock. Of course! I know who this is for! Hey, what are you doing? Remember the second rule never open the mail yourself. <laughs> but this final package is for me! It's the new alarm clock you ordered! That's right! Well, Let's hope it wakes you up in time for your next job. We'll have to find out about that another day. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda. Hi, everyone. Today, we're helping Leo find a very special insect. <laughs> but first, we need to find Leo. He told us to meet him here, but I can't see him anywhere. Can you? Psst, Dr. Panda. Huh? Over here. Leo? Are you behind that bush? No, I'm not behind the bush. <laughs> <laughs> I am the bush! <laughs> Leo! <laughs> Why are you dressed like a bush? We didn't see you there. Well, that's the idea. If the butterfly thinks I'm a bush, I won't scare it away. And then we have a better chance of taking a photo of it. A butterfly. So that's what we're looking for. Yep. A very special butterfly. It's hardly ever seen, and no one's ever managed to take a photo of it before. Wow, this is exciting. How will we find it? First, you two need to look like a bush, too. Perfect. <laughs> you look funny as a bush, Toto. <laughs> bush! Now, let's start our search. The butterfly's wings have very special colors. Purple, pink, and yellow. Purple, pink, and yellow. Can you remember those colors, Toto? <laughs> Dr. Panda, take a look through your binoculars. Where shall I look? Butterflies fly. So, I guess I should look up in the sky? Good thinking, Dr. Panda. Oh, 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 I think I see it. Oh, really? This way. <laughs> ah! Those bushes are moving. Oh, hi, Maymay. It's me, Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda, where are you? Please help me. I've been surrounded by moving bushes. No, it's us. We're dressed as bushes. Oh! Oh! For you! Wait, why are you dressed as bushes? Is it a new fashion trend? I didn't know about that. Oh, no. We're looking for a very special butterfly, and we don't want to scare it away. Oh! <laughs> Have you seen a special-looking butterfly around here anywhere? Yes, I have. Look up there. Oh, gosh. That's very nice, but it's not the butterfly we're looking for. No worries. Let's keep looking. It's a hot day, so the butterfly could be thirsty. Maybe we should look where there's water. Good thinking, Dr. Panda. Let's go to the pond. It is. Follow me. Huh? What's that noise? It's the bushes. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Ziggy. Oh gosh, 
I hope we haven't scared it away. Scared? What do you mean, scared? I wasn't scared. No, not you, Ziggy. We're looking for a very special butterfly. It's purple, pink, and yellow. Have you seen it? No, I've been sunbathing. And if you don't mind, I'll get right back to that. My mistake. <laughs> mm, no worries. Let's keep looking. Any ideas, Leo? Well, just as the butterfly will be thirsty, it will be hungry, too. It especially likes ripe fruit. I've got it! Moose Orchard! There's lots of ripe fruit there! Of course! Good thinking, Dr. Panda! Let's go! Hmm. I don't remember planting those bushes. Oh! They don't look too perky. I should give them a good drink. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> Dr. Panda, Leo and Toto, what on earth are you up to? We're looking for a very special butterfly. You haven't seen one around, have you? Oh, I've been far too busy to notice, I'm afraid. All this fruit is going to waste on the ground. You've just given me an idea. Maybe we can help the butterfly to find us and help Moo at the same time. Thank you for helping me collect my apples. Oh, I can make some nice apple juice tomorrow. I do hope your butterfly shows up first. So do we. Let's wait and see. been a fun day. Perhaps we've missed the butterfly after all. Maybe next year, huh? <gasps> Dr. Panda! Dr. Panda! Butterfly! Wow! Quick, Dr. Panda, take a photo! Oh, dear! Leo, stay very still. These are some great photos, Dr. Panda. You should come to the forest with me and photograph other animals. Oh, maybe that's a job for another day. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Dr. Panda, hello. Dr. Panda, Toto. Please tell us what will you be doing today. Dr. Panda, let's go. Dr. Panda, uh oh. Task to big, come bring your friends and let's play. Fighting fires, fixing tires, you always save the day. Out of groceries, hey, no worries. Dr. Panda's on his way. Dr. Panda, Dr. Panda, hello. Come on, let's go and have some fun too. Dr. Panda, what are you going to do today? Oh, I know! You're a police officer! <laughs> Almost! Today, I'm a traffic director! Oh, that sounds very important. Yep, it is important. Traffic directors make sure cars, trucks, and people drive safely along the road. Yay! And here's something to help me. <whistles> oh, hi, Toto! Do you want to practice the special traffic signals with me? Okay, let's see. Uh -um. Stop, listen, look, and go. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and now it's time for us to go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Hey, Toto, do you remember the special traffic signals? <whistles> Stop. Stop. Listen. Look. Go. Go. Hey, watch this. Huh? Wow. Whoa. See you guys. Bye, Bib. Your turn, Hoopa. I'll see you on the way back. I'm just off to pick up some bricks. Great. See you later. I tell you what's going on. My chickens are everywhere. That's what's going on. Moo! Uh, I think we have a bit of a problem here. Moo! My poor chickens! This is terrible, Dr. Panda. You'll have to help me round them up. I'm happy to help, Moo, but someone needs to look after the crossing. Oh, I can take care of that. Thanks, May, May, but you don't know the special traffic signals. You can teach me. How hard can it be? Hurry, Dr. Panda! We need to get my chickens back. Okay, here we go. You need to use stop, listen, look, and go. I've got it. Come on, Dr. Panda! My chickens won't catch themselves! Are you sure you'll be all right, Mei Mei? Toto will stay here with you to help. He knows the special traffic signals, too. Yep, don't worry. I'll be fine. Dr. Panda! <laughs> Don't forget those signals! Dr. Panda! Let's see, what was stop? I remember stop, listen, look, and go. Perfect! Now a bit faster. Stop, listen, look, and go. Stop, listen, look, and go. It's almost like a dance. <gasps> hey, that's an idea. A dance. And then, what about this? And... What is she doing? Am I supposed to go or, or stop? Go! Oh, I don't know. What's going on here? That doesn't look like what Dr. Panda was doing. Go! No, wait, stop! Uh-oh. That's all of the moo. To get back to being a traffic director. Whoa, a traffic jam! And a great big mess! How will we ever fix this? Oh. I dropped my load. I'm sorry, Dr. Panda. I don't know how this happened. I do. May May made all the wrong moves. Instead of this, she did this. No, no, no. It was more like this. <laughs> nope, that's nothing like it. It was like this. You mean like this? <laughs> uh, no, I think it was more like this. Oh, I see. So you turned directing traffic into a dance. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I guess I got carried away. And you made Hooper spill all his bricks. It's going to take ages to sort this out. Not if we all help. And I know exactly how to speed things up. May May, you're going to have to teach us how to do your dance properly. <laughs> Ready, everyone? 
one, two, three, four. Panda. No, thank you. That was fun, wasn't it, Toto? <laughs> yeah. I guess it's time for me to go, too. <laughs> Bye, Maymay. Wow, Toto, that's an awesome move. You'd like to do more dancing? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs> Dr. Panda. Hello. Dr. Panda. Toto. Please tell us what will you be doing today. Dr. Panda, what are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to babysit Moose Chickens. Aww. Never think all right. It's the perfect time to get lucky with you. Hey, Moo, that's a nice song. Oh! Hello, Dr. Panda. I didn't see you there. <laughs> I get a bit carried away sometimes. <laughs> well, you sounded great. And something smells great, too. Oh, yes. I've made you some cupcakes. As a thank you for looking after my little darlings tonight. Mm. Thanks. Oh, I'm so excited to see my favourite band in concert. We're getting clucky tonight and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. <laughs> Your chickens seem to like the music too. Oh, yes, but a concert is no place for chickens. And neither is the kitchen. Out you go. These cupcakes are for Dr. Panda. <laughs> oh, you know I don't mind sharing. That's very kind, but they can't have food before bed. It keeps them awake. If they eat any of those cupcakes now, you'll have awful trouble getting them to sleep. Once you've read them a bedtime story, they go into their chicken coop to get cosy for the night. Oh, and make sure all five of them are inside. No worries, Moo. I've got it. Be good for Dr. Panda now, won't you? We'll be fine. Have a great time at the concert, Moo. Oh, I will. We're getting clucky tonight and everything is... Oh, remember, don't give him any food. It's time to get clucky with you. And that's how the brave little fairy saved the big giant. Ah, <sighs> right, chickens. Time for bed. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Good night, chickens. Sleep well. Ah, <sighs> chicken sitting is easy. They're so well behaved. Ooh. I think I'll have a cupcake. Toto, would you like a cupcake? <laughs> <laughs> I'll save one for him. Huh? <gasps> hey! 
Chickens! Stop that at once! Off you go! Back to bed now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. What's going on? Ah! Now there are none! Oh, so that's how they got out. Hello? Hoopa, I need your help at Moose Farm. Sure thing, Dr. Panda. I'll be right there. Great job. Thanks, Hoopa. No problem. Easy fix. Now all I have to do is get the chickens back inside. <laughs> Let me help you. It'll be easier with the two of us. Oh, great idea, Hoopa. Why don't you catch those two, and I'll go after the one inside the house. Sure thing. Here we go. chickens back to bed and Moo will be home soon maybe we can tempt them in with food they've already eaten that's the whole problem mm. if only there was something else they liked oh <gasps> that's it hoopa you're a genius i am we're getting clucky tonight and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. Join in, Hoopa, <laughs> tonight, and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. That's it, Hoopa. Tonight, and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. Perfect. Sinking, Dr. Panda. And you. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. But time for me, too. Thanks for all your help, Hoopa. You're a great pal. Anytime. Bye. Phew. We're getting clicky tonight, and everything is all right. Hello, Dr. Panda. Oh, are my little darlings fast asleep? Oh, they're certainly fast, and hopefully they're asleep. That concert was amazing. I think I'm going to become a pop star. You should. Your singing is very good. Oh, but then who'd look after my farm? <gasps> Perhaps you could be a farmer for me, Dr. Panda, since you're so good at looking after my chickens. <laughs> Maybe that's an adventure for another day. <laughs> See you next time. Goodbye, Dr. Panda. <laughs> Bye-bye. Dr. Panda. Hello. Dr. Panda. Toto. Please tell us what will you be doing today. <laughs> Dr. Panda. Let's go. Dr. Panda. Uh-oh. Fantastic big, come bring your friends and let's play. Fighting fires, fixing tires, you always save the day. Out the groceries, hey, no worries. Dr. Panda's on his way. Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda. Hello. Come on, let's go and have some fun too. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Uh, good morning, everyone. Today, I'm making deliveries. Can you guess what I'm delivering? You're a milkman. That's right. Milk. 
It looks like it's going to be a hot day, Toto. Everyone will want some nice, cool milk. First, we have to go to Moo's farm and collect the milk. Moo! Moo! Let's go! Hello? Moo! Phew, it's already getting hot. Moo! Where are you? Strawberries, Dr. Pander! So many strawberries! Oh, oh, hi, Moo. We've come for the milk. Yes, yes, it's over there. Oh, if I don't pick all of these strawberries today, they'll go bad in the hot sun. Hey, maybe Toto and I can help. Would you? Oh, you're a real lifesaver, Dr. Pander. Okay. First, let me put the milk in my van where it'll stay cold. Oh, I'd better turn it up a little. The milk needs to stay cool or it'll go bad in the heat. Ready to help, Moo. Oh, good. Let's start picking. a lot of strawberries. Oh, yes! More than I need! <gasps> Maybe you could take this extra crate of strawberries for your customers. Great idea! Thanks, Moo! No, thank you! Bye now! Bye, Moo! Bye-bye! <sighs> We're running a little late, Toto. Are you ready to start our deliveries? Yay! Right! Our first customer is Olette. Uh-oh. Dr. Panda! What's that? You heard something strange. Uh-huh. Uh, we don't have time to stop now, Toto. We'll have to look at it when we're at Olette's. Panda, I was just about to have my breakfast. Hi, Olette. Where do you want your milk? Oh, in the kitchen, please. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. And I've been looking forward to pouring this fresh, cold milk over my cereal. Hey, why isn't the milk coming out? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I think the milk might have gotten a little too cold. I'm sorry, Olette. It's frozen. Frozen? Well, now what am I going to have for my favorite meal of the day? <gasps> oh, I know. Would you like some strawberries? <gasps> strawberries? I love strawberries. You have strawberries, Dr. Panda? I sure do. Freshly picked this morning. Follow me. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What's wrong? Uh, the strawberries are all squashed. That must have been the noise we heard. Squashed strawberries and frozen milk. Well, how is that supposed to make a tasty breakfast? I have an idea. Olette, how do you feel about a strawberry milkshake? For breakfast? Really?
Linda. This is the best strawberry milkshake I have ever tasted. <laughs> oh, let me get that. Dr. Panda, we saw your milk van outside. And you're late with our milk. Uh, I'm so sorry. We've been making strawberry milkshake. Would you like to try some? For breakfast? Awesome! You have to taste this. It's amazing! Oh, this is incredible! Delicious! Can I have some more, please? Sure! I'll add some to your delivery when I come around to your house. Yay! I should go. I have lots more deliveries to make. Are you coming, Toto? Uh-huh. See ya! Bye, Dr. Panda. And Toto. Thanks, Dr. Panda. Ah, did you like your milkshake, Toto? Uh-huh. <laughs> ice cream! Huh? Oh, you think we should make ice cream, do you? Yay! That's a great idea, Toto. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love ice cream. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love ice cream. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That'll be an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda, what are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to help out on Moo's farm. We'll be planting seeds to grow vegetables. Will you get muddy? That's right. I'll probably get messy, so I'm wearing my overalls. Dr. Panda, play! <laughs> you can play on Moo's farm, Toto. Let's go! Yay! Thanks for coming, Dr. Panda. Look, I've already prepared the field. Great! All you need to do is plant the seeds that are in this sack. I have to go out and deliver some vegetables. Can you manage without me? No worries. I'll get to work right away. Play! <laughs> I'm afraid that bowl's no good, Toto. There's a hole in it. Oh! Gosh, that barn is full of old junk. One of these days, I'll sort through it. Well, see you later, Dr. Panda. Bye, Moo. Come on, Toto. Look, Toto. These are the seeds. We plant them in the ground, and in time, they grow into vegetables that we can eat. Yay! <laughs> Birds! Oh, oh no! Shoo! Shoo! Stop eating the seeds! <laughs> shoo! Shoo! Oh, now I'll have to plant this row again. planting the seeds if the birds are just waiting to come back. Maybe there's something in Moo's barn that we can use to keep the birds away. Uh, let's see. Ah. Whoops. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Toto, I've made a scarecrow. 
Hopefully it'll fool the birds into thinking there's someone here. You reckon it'll work? than the scarecrow. Hey, maybe I can make it look more like me. are scared when I move around. Maybe they're not scared of the scarecrow because it stays still. of the seeds before Moo gets back. Done, ha, with some seeds left over. What are those birds up to now? Oh, I think I've scared the birds a little too much. Maybe there's something we can do for them. just as the seeds will grow into food for us. Great work, Dr. Panda! Oh, hi, Moo! Huh? You've planted all these seeds so quickly. Was it hard work? Oh, let me get you a glass of lemonade. Oh, well, I'm glad you're excited, but it's no trouble. <laughs> Moo, that's not me. I'm over here. Huh? Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> well, perhaps I need my eyes tested. Maybe that's something you can help me with, Dr. Panda. <laughs> I think that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. Dr. Panda, hello. Dr. Panda, Toto. please tell us what will you be doing today. Dr. Panda, let's go. Dr. Panda, uh oh. Test a bit, come bring your friends and let's play. Fighting fires, fixing tires, you always save the day. Out of groceries, hey, no worries. Dr. Panda's on his way. Dr. Panda, Dr. Panda, hello. Come on, let's 
Let's go and have some fun today. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Here, let me give you a hint. You're listening to Music Mix with Dr. Panda, your favorite music from your favorite bear. <laughs> are you on the radio? Yes, or I will be as soon as my radio show starts. When that light is on, everyone in Panda City can hear me on their radio. All I have to do is speak into this microphone and play music. <laughs> <laughs> That's for playing old records, Toto. But all the music we need is on this computer. Right here. <laughs> Good thing the red light wasn't on, Toto, or everyone in Panda City would have heard your noises. <laughs> <sighs> here we go. You're listening to Music Mix with Dr. Panda, your favorite music from your favorite bear. It's a beautiful day in Panda City. It sure is. It's time to send in your requests. So if there's any song you'd like to hear, let me know and I'll play it for you. Hmm. Oh, I know just the one. To start us off, here's a song called Cutie Panda Beat by Justin Brown Bear. Now, there's a football game on the radio right after my show, Toto, so we have to finish in time. But until then, we'll play some nice music. Ah, at last. A job that doesn't involve lots of running around, huh, Toto? <laughs> oh. Hello? Hi, Dr. Panda. I heard you on the radio, and I was wondering... Can I request a song for someone, please? Great idea, Leo. What do you want me to play? You see, it's June's birthday today, and there's this song she loved when she was a little girl. It's called Fleece Oddity by a fella named David Bae. Okay. Are you sure you can find it? It's quite old. Even June doesn't have a copy anymore. Ah, uh, no worries. I have every song on my computer. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks. I'm off to the store to buy Judah a present now. Bye, Dr. Panda. <laughs> Bye, Leo. Ah, lots of requests coming in, Toto. Let's play this one first. Here's a request from Moo and her chickens. This is Mad Bull with Get Clucky. <sighs> oh, no. The song Leo requested isn't on the computer. Uh, hey, yeah. maybe it's on one of the old records in the storage room. Uh, uh, that was great. Thanks, Moo. Next up, a uh, uh, song for Hoopa. This is the Rolling Bricks with Fill Me Up. <laughs> oh, that was just in time, Toto. I have until the end of the song to find Leo's record. The record we need must be in here somewhere. Nope, not here either. Hey, maybe Ziggy can help. Yeah, hello. Ziggy, do you still have those boxes of old records in your garage? I think so. Great! I'll come over right after I put on a new song. You gotta build it up. <laughs> uh, this next song is for Bip. It's Sam Simeon with Monkey on My Mind. Awesome! Uh, I have to be back before the song ends. Hey, if I listen to my show on my phone, I'll know exactly when the song's about to end. Oh! Hi, Leo. 
I'm sorry. I, I haven't played your request yet. Eh, I'm having a hard time finding a present for June. Mm -hmm. I'd love to help, Her but... Her taste is very particular, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Leo. I gotta go. <sighs> Hi, Ziggy. Are these the boxes? Yep. These are all the records I've got. Is this the one? Oh, yes, that's it! Oh, thank you, Ziggy! Great! I think we can make a deal. How about I play a request for you? Can you play me something by Piggy Pug? Sure, anything you like! <laughs> Whoa, deal! <sighs> this next song is for Ziggy. Thanks for your help, buddy. Oh, I found it, Toto. Tick tock. Oh no, my show is almost over. There's not enough time to play Leo's song for June. What do I do now? Hmm. Hey. That's all the songs I have time to play today, folks. But I have one last message for June. Oh. Come meet Leo and me in the park for a special birthday surprise. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everyone. Dr. Panda, I haven't found a present for June yet. I have nothing to give her. Ah, oh, but you do, huh? <laughs> hey, that's a great idea. Hi, you two. What's this all about, then? <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, I love this song. Thank you, Leo. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> run! Run! Ooh, <laughs> I think I've done enough running for today, Toto. So, that's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Dr. Panda. Bye-bye.